Hey collective, welcome to Queen Air of Tarot. Today we are going to do your midweekly channel reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So the song that I channeled when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I definitely had this for a very recent reading. I'm not sure what sign it was for. If you guys know, go ahead and leave it in the description box below. But when I woke up, I kept hearing the song over and over and over again. And as I was running the errands today, it was like I listened to the song throughout every single errand that I ran. So I, this is how I know that this is going to be quite you know, connected to some of you guys as far as this message goes. Because as I said, I was running errands. And in the song, he says... Um, you were on a mission. Our, our hearts collide like a neutron star collision. And that's what I'm saying. I was on a mission. I was running errands. And I feel like somebody, the universe is on a mission to align you with somebody. And it's very interesting because as I'm doing this reading, yesterday was the full moon. I believe it was in Sagittarius. Okay. You know, it's fire, it's action, tenacity. And I feel like the universe is like putting something into action. Again, the name of the song is Neutron Star Collision by Muse. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. One of the messages I also got from that particular channeling is that the name of the group is Muse. Okay. I feel like somebody is your muse or you feel like they're your muse. Like somebody inspires you or you may inspire this individual. This person, I feel like def definitely there's karmic ties to you and this person. And I, I have to say this all the time when people hear karmic they think negative. That's not true. You and this person have signed a contract to reconnect with each other in this lifetime or whatever certain time frame because you guys have business to do. And I feel like this person, like, it's something about you that inspires them. It's something about, you know, some, you or this person is inspired by each other. That's what I'm telling you. And it's going to be for the positive because it's talking about for a movement. Again, I really want you guys to listen to the lyrics of that song. Even if you don't, that's not your particular genre of music, please listen to the lyrics. Again, I'll, I'll see if I can find a lyric video. I really want you guys to look and listen and read the lyrics because what he's saying is so dope and profound. Like, seriously, it is. And he's talking about love and connecting with someone. But I also feel like for a lot of you all, you are aligning with somebody who is going to trigger an awakening so that you can move forward on your, your life mission. You have a purpose here. Everyone has a purpose. But for a lot of you all, if you were drawn to this reading, your purpose is being activated by this person. Now, I also heard, um, what is it? A transition. I heard a soft transition like butter. That's why I hear soft, soft transition like butter. So some of you guys, it's like something that you didn't even know you had some type of strength in. Something that you didn't even know you had a lot of passion for. You may have felt like it was just a hobby. That hobby is about to become your greatest asset. That hobby is getting ready to become something that's going to make you money. Something that's going to catapult you into the next level. It's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm telling you this right now. Now also, I heard meeting familiars. Now, I'm getting two different ways that this message is coming through. Again, some of you guys have had a past life with this person. You have had a, 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 you know, a karmic contract. And you guys agreed to meet at a certain time, place, day, so that you can move forward along your journey and your life purpose. But also, if you're into the metaphysics or into the occult or something like that, some of you guys are getting ready to literally meet familiars. You know, like how they always say a cat is a witch is familiar. It doesn't have to be a cat specifically because even right now, as I'm saying this, I'm seeing a lizard, a gecko. Some of you all could be in an area where lizards and geckos reside, where they're real, they're very well known to live. I'm getting it also. So somewhere a hot, dry desert is, okay? Um, and yeah, I, I'm just looking over the messages so I won't leave anything out. But yeah, I literally heard divine alignment. The universe has intervened. And that's, I, I believe that's going to be the title of this reading because that's what I heard. Divine alignment. The universe has intervened. So like I said, neutron star collision. When you think about the stars, you think about the cosmos, the universal sources. When you think about astrology and things like that, that's the stars, the cosmos, the alignments. So the name of the song is neutron star collision. Like you and this person are going to run into, into each other and unbeknownst to both of you all, this was something that was divinely orchestrated. So it's going to be very powerful. Also, the fact that I'm getting this and you know, full moon and new moon energy three days before, during, and three days after full and new moons, that energy is the most potent. Okay. Very powerful. So this message, I definitely feel like it's talking about somebody from your past life because the moon also gives me past energy. Okay. 
You know, it's like the subconscious, the unknown, the forgotten in some senses and some sentiments. So I definitely feel like this is a, a connection that you have forgotten about. And I know this is pretty deep and pretty spiritual, but that's, that's definitely a message I'm getting for you guys today. Okay. So let's see what we get for you all. I definitely feel like it's going to be very spiritual for sure. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. Gardeness, defensiveness, um, being overprotective. Because I'm hearing overprotective. Somebody needs to let the guards down. Also, remember what I was saying earlier, right? I heard soft transition like butter, seamlessly. For a lot of y'all, you may have felt like you had a lot of heavy things coming at you. Possibly over the last six to seven months have been very difficult. I'm getting that also. Also, for some of you all, you can meet this person. And I've been talking for a long time about Lionsgate, right? And Lionsgate is the 8-8 portal. But I feel like Leo season in general is going to be a, a major portal. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got the Seven of Wands. Leo season starts in July. And, you, and as I say portal, you see how he's in front of this doorway. But it's like a glow, like a portal almost for some of you all this person will be coming in okay in july and it could be around a time where you feel like a lot of things like everything is just coming at you all at once at you know adversity just hardships difficulty and this is really making me think like what i said the name of the song neutron star collision is like the wands would collide against this person but it's like just in the nick of time you meet someone where it's like some type of awakening because if you really look at him, all of this stuff coming towards him, but look at his face. He looks extremely unbothered because he knows he, he's protected. Even he has this one wand, he knows that he can take all of these other wands. Whatever's coming at him, he knows he has the tools because this is his tool. He knows he has all the tools to dissipate whatever it is that's trying to come towards him. And I feel like a lot of you all will feel a strengthening during that time also. Now, I know this is a midweekly, but you know, they, this stuff can be timeless. Whenever you see this, this is going to resonate for you. And then whatever message you got, this this clearly is for you. Let's see what's up under here. Yeah, that's what I said. You had a lot of adversity. You had a lot of stuff coming towards you for sure. Look at this. Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements, um, possibly people, naysayers. Okay. I just heard Antoinette, Annetta. Someone's name could be Nay, Dejanay, Shanay. Something with Nay in their name could be. It just seems like you have a lot of naysayers and a lot of people who are speaking very ill. Mm, yeah, I just heard an ill tongue. Yeah. And it's, oh, yeah, okay. So I want you guys to look at this. You see how you got these little buds here, and it's almost like um, it could be fruit or some type of plant, but it's making me think about like a little poison. Like people are speaking ill or have been speaking ill of you. And I'm hearing a heavy tongue. That's why I'm hearing heavy tongue. In other words, somebody's speaking very heavily and negatively of you. And that, that could have been in the past. You could have definitely dealt with that in May because you do have five wands here. And that's why I said you had a lot. This is just confirmation about what I was saying. There was a lot of negative stuff coming towards you. But I'm telling you, no matter what the fuck it is, you have the tools to, you know, remove all this from your energy. That, that has to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is like I do traditionally, I'm going to get the card that comes before and after the sun and the moon, and then we'll get clarifiers for both. You guys know the sun for me is a brand new day, a brand new start, some type of enlightenment, abundance, good health, good healing. And then the moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about, secrets. Also, the, the I'm going to say the, the mythical, you know, the mythical, the mysteries, um, definitely the energy that I'm picking up here because I feel like this energy is very much aligned with some type of... It's, it's like, I don't know how to say it. It's almost, because I don't want it to sound so cliche and so lame, like magic. It, it's something about this situation feels very magical. You know what I mean? And when the universe and stars align, it is magic. It's, it's sinistry, you know, alignment. That's what I'm getting here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and part the deck so we can shuffle. You have, that's what I'm, did I tell you, you, a lot of you guys have had people speaking ill on you. You got the king of swords. Look at this person. You had a king of swords. Now, that doesn't have to be that this is someone who spoke negatively of you, but I'm just telling you, I feel like for some of you all, you are taking up for yourself. He has his sword. He's armed. He has his wand. He's armed. It's like no matter what came at you, mm -mm, the universe is granting you like all types of power and grace for sure. Again, remember when we had the five of wands up under that, and I did say some of you guys could have went through this in Gemini season. Gemini season did start in May. You do have the king of swords. This also can be involving a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual. But more than anything, the king of swords is someone who is definitely 
stable, um, knowledgeable, and they don't have issues defending themselves or speaking up for themselves. And I feel like that's the position that a lot of you all are going to be in moving forward over these next couple of months. Hell, days and weeks. Then I say moving forward, and then you got the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry, not the Wheel of Fortune, but the World Card. Forward movement. Um, definitely. So I, I, that's what I told you. I, it feels magical. It feels like divinity. You see how you got that glow here, and then there's a star coming up at the top. That, that's some type of healing, some type of divinity. And I told you, oh my God, the name of the song is Neutron Star Collision, and you got the star right at the top, and it's like she's going. He literally says, what the hell? oh my God, what was the beginning of the song? I was focused, you on a mission, and our hearts align like Neutron Star Collision. I don't think he said I was focused. He said, I was searching, I was searching, you were on a mission, and our hearts align like a Neutron Star Collision. Somebody's coming towards you all. She is on her way. She's on a mission to find her person, to connect with her familiar. And when I say again, it doesn't have to be a familiar, like an animal, like a spirit animal. It's a familiar soul. This is Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. I'm telling you, okay? So you have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and also Scorpio here. So you could have those placements or your person. When you meet this individual, they will have those placements. And I'm going to say again, for some of y'all, it's definitely going to go down in Leo season for sure. All of them have wings, okay, which lets you know that's some type of movement, some type of travel. This is this is coming towards you quickly. <laughs> Neutron Star, I can't say this enough. I really want you all to listen to that song, please. And I want you, again, if you don't like the genre of music, just let me know in the comment section below how you feel like the lyrics resonated with you. Because I'm telling you, when I first heard it, I was like, wow, this, this is dope. First of all, I like music like that. I like all types of music, but I'm like, this is fucking dope. And it definitely aligned with me on a heart chakra based level okay so again we're gonna go ahead and shuffle one more time yep somebody from past life major arcana yet again so you got two major arcanas as soon as i parted you got the death card death and the rebirth this is someone who you have came into this lifetime with and they're coming towards you do you see that she's flying away from the death card i'm telling you right now what i'm getting this is also scorpio energy you got somebody from past life reconnecting with you and they're coming right in the time <laughs> they're coming right in the time with things feel the heaviest are you kidding me? Where you feel like you can't do anymore. You, he's walking right towards this death card. Son of Wands carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. And then I say, I feel like it's going to go down, particularly in Leo season. Or it could be someone with strong fire in their chart. Okay? Because this, like I said, I believe this full moon was in a sign of Sagittarius. So it's like moving forward. And if you see right there, you got the moon there. Moving forward, there's some transformation, transmutation, healing. A lot of healing. Okay? bottom of the deck five of cups i'm gonna say this again i feel like for some of you all this could have happened in may five days five weeks five months ago for a lot of you all this this has been going on for a while five weeks to five months or like i said something could have definitely went down in may i also feel like this situation made someone feel very depressed very sad because it cups his emotions and feelings but i want you to pay attention behind him there's fruit so he's crying over these spilled cups but there's so much abundance behind him fruition fruit you know so let's go ahead and go through the deck. Yep. <laughs> the universe is a line of stuff. You got the judgment card. Okay. Major arcana, definite energy. We don't change that. The universe is calling in all the angels, spirit guides, guardians. They're calling in people who can help you build your abundance, come up with some type of ideas and creation. You have the eight of pentacles. That's your actual nine to five. So for a lot of you all, this will affect your finances. And didn't I say in the very beginning? This person is like something that you were sitting on, some type of idea, some type of creation. Because look at how he's looking at this pinnacle like, hmm, like what can I do with that? Oh, my God. I literally said a familiar and you got a damn mouse right here. I'm telling So some of you all, you could be born in the year of the rat. Also, a mouse could be your, your familiar, your spirit animal right now. And in case you're not familiar with that, it's one of those things where like, like Google, okay, Google spirit animal mouse. And read the description and see how it relates to what you're going through or what you're trying to achieve. Because the mouse is tenacious, it's busy. You ever heard the, the saying where people say, well, this person's a pack rat. It's because they just keep stuff, they hoard, they never throw things away. But in order for somebody to be a pack rat and to hoard things, they have to accumulate a lot, which means they have to put in the work to collect it. You get what I'm saying? So it's like putting in the work and you have, look here now. And you got the damn lovers. I'm telling you, so uh, let's say this again. For a lot of y'all, it's going to be love and money. Love and money, for sure. 
Major Arcana, definite energy. I'm going to say again, a couple times already, we've had Gemini energy. We are currently in Gemini season, but I'm telling you right now. Okay, so some of you guys, this person may be coming in in Gemini season. Or before Gemini season ends, or, they, or you already met this person. And I feel like, like I said, the name of the group is Muse. This person is their inspiration. You see how he's looking at that pinnacle? There's a lot of ideas that have been sitting stagnant that are getting ready to come into culmination because of some type of union. I'm telling you. For some of you all, it will be romantic in nature. But for others, it's, it's just that this person is your muse. Or you're this person's muse. Okay? So again, we're going to go ahead. Sun and the moon for the collective. Okay, we got the moon. So right here with the moon, right in front of it, you have the four of pentacles. And you have the seven of swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Mm. Right behind it, you have three of wands. Okay. Let's put this here. Okie dokie. So with that, I'm, again, I'm going to say something went down in Gemini season. Beginning of Gemini season for some of y'all. I'm also here in Aquarius because I did just see the star card during those um, recent shuffles. You got the four of pentacles. Yeah, you could have felt like you were deceived or you were tricked into something when it came to your finances. Like people were holding back. Ooh, okay, thank you. So what I'm getting right here is for some of y'all, you could be working a job that you felt like was stable, but you could be lying to yourself. You see how he's looking directly at the four of wands? Some of y'all could be lying to yourself, staying in a position that is not really conducive to what it is you're trying to do in life. It could be leading you to feel angry, upset, frustrated. Look at his eyes, look at his face. And also some of you all may have a employer who is not necessarily speaking the best of you. Because again, those there's those swords. Okay, and remember earlier on, we had all those swords and that communication and five of wands. And you had the five of wands and here of the seven sword, he has five of them. So something definitely happened in May for some of you all. Also five days, five weeks, five months ago. But I'm also getting, like, like I said, for a lot of you all, you may be working in a position that does not make you happy. And I'm also going to have to say this. You have people talking behind your back at your place of employment also. And that makes a lot of sense because you have the five of wands, that, that arguments, that chaos, that disrepair. You got that same energy here. Okay. Let's get the sun card. Ooh. This is going to happen soon. I didn't even get that far. You got it. Okay. So you have that shit now. What I tell y'all? He's holding five of the seven swords. And then you got the, seven, the five of swords right here. Okay. You had it right in front of that. So, also, I'm going to tell you right now, if there was people who were speaking ill of you and you did not know about it, you're going to find out. I feel like it's two people specifically. I'm going to show you why. Of seven swords, you got two on the ground here, okay? If you look in the five of swords, there's one, two people in the background. Some of you guys are going to be cutting these people every which way but lose. You're going to let them know about yourself. I feel like that's why you're the five of wands. There's going to be... I, I have to be honest to say there's going to be confrontations because people are being addressed, Okay? Let's see what's behind here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, somebody gonna get a dress. Okay, let's talk about this. You guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, this is my rat bastard. Happily ever after, you know, the the nine of cups is like wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want and some, but here go this goddamn rat. I say this all the time. Everything looks joyous. Everything looks happy, abundant, celebrations. But if that rat jumps down to any of them goddamn cups, the fucking party is over. That's the truth. Now, remember, I also was talking about when we seen the Eight of Pentacles early on with the work life. And on his bench, he was looking at a pentacle and there was a mouse or a rat right there. Some of you guys, you definitely have a rat or a mouse spirit animal that's going to help you on a more positive note. That's going to be helping you collect some type of abundance and happiness. I'm definitely getting that some of you all could be born in the year of the rat. Or your person, this person who's going to come in could be born in the year of the rat, okay? But I, I'm, I'm going to say again, there's definitely conflict energy here. But it doesn't matter because look at how you're ending. You're going to be victorious. And remember what I was saying again with the song Neutron Star Collision? Look at that. that look how, you see how that sky has no other stars there, but there's two. There's two stars. One, two, right at the tip of that sword. And, and it's like, if you look at it, he slayed the people who have betrayed him and he's victorious and those stars are right by it. There's an alignment for a lot of you all. And I said this, that um, we are in June, right? And I kept saying during Lionsgate, two months, because you got two stars by the swords, two months from now, which will be August, there's going to be victory for a lot of you all. There is going to be victory for a lot of you all, okay? Bottom of the deck, absolutely. <laughs> Emperor, boss status, I'm telling you. There's somebody who is going to be able to support you. Some of you guys may have some type of financial backer. If you were interested in getting some type of loan, or there could be someone who has um, 
a lot of they're very well respected in their environment their peers this person may have some type of fame or some type of status this there's somebody who's coming in to support you but what i will give with this is that this person is giving me loan shark vibes you see how he's like yeah i'll give you this money but you know and even right here is like i got this pinnacle but you see how he's looking almost like there's a butt to it so for some of you all be careful about the contracts you sign because it can be some deceptive wording so it's communication and mental. So that could be some deceptive wording. So be mindful about that. There's definitely an alignment here. I'm just looking at how to plan this. Something, this is karmic. This is something you guys, I'm going to say for a lot of you all, if you do not check your natal chart and you don't know what's going on, you guys need to check your secondary placements because I feel like those energies are going to be very profound right now. They're going to stand out more than your, your immediate placements. You really need to check your charts. And you got because there's cycles. I'm just looking at this. There's cycles that are getting ready to come into your reality that's gonna play very important roles moving forward for the rest of this year, is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's power at the deck so we can shuffle. I, I'm trying to tell you. Look here, he got the pinnacle and he gave her the pinnacle, but I feel like there it, there could be some deception to it. Because you see how she's looking at this pinnacle? Almost like, do I want to put myself in this position? Now, it's not like you got to do something salacious to get this money, but for some of you all, you may. But overall, what, ooh, I just seen the two of cups. Okay. But for most of you all, what I'm getting is that it may really come with like high taxation. You know what I mean? Like, like the, if you take out some type of loan for some type of investment, a home project or to buy a home or some big purchase, the interest on it could be very high astronomical like it could be ridiculous that's why because i'm really getting like it's something extra to it so be mindful shop around i'm getting that also shop around but if you notice also her back is facing him strong aries taurus energy okay and her back is facing him so it's like she's accepted that pinnacle that he has but now she's kind of looking at it like okay is it worth it you know some of y'all may feel like that but some of y'all this, this may already taken place in aries or taurus season just seeing a tower, yeah. So for some of you guys, this this could have caused a problem. Yep. Some of you guys are juggling finances or juggling a situation. And you realize, like, was it worth it? Because you see how he's juggling. It's kind of like, well, was it worth it? And for some of y'all, if this hasn't played out already, you're trying to weigh the pros and cons. Because as I hold it up to you all, this is how the position is. But as I hold it to myself, they're facing each other, you know? So it's one of those things where... um kind of wondering is it worth it to take out a loan is it worth it to support this person but i feel like the judgment card they're telling you yep go ahead and do it because we're going to protect you we're going to support you and it's also going to be a very healthy investment because every time i see that red cross it makes me think about health you know things like that i feel like it's going to be a positive investment but i'm going to say do shop around especially if you need a loan for something shop look shop around five pentacles lack loss abandonment being left out in the cold there's a loan there's some type of support that's available to you but don't just go for the first one shop around <laughs> now I'm hearing a song. My mama told me you better shop around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because this person could be a loan shark for sure, especially if they're a Taurus. Second time you got this very strong Taurus energy. You got the hair fine reverse. Mm -mm. And this is a middleman. This is making me think about a loan shark. So be mindful. I'm going to tell you just straight off the back if it's a Taurus involved with this situation, don't. I wouldn't do business with that one, okay? If it's a person, like a personal loan, I would not. Also, if you did business in Taurus season, this is like you have so much five energy here. You have five of swords here. You got the seven, but he's holding five of swords. And then you got the five of pentacles. For some of you, I'm going to say again, May was a bit of a tricky time frame for you all when it came to finances and situations. And some of you guys could be digging your way out of some type of debt. Didn't I say digging your way? Absolutely. The scales are becoming balanced. Ugh, I love this energy. So you got the justice card, Libra. Major arcana, definite energy. Sword up, yes, sword down. No, that sword is up. And then you have the skills that things are becoming balanced. So that was just what I was saying before I even flipped this up. Whatever the situation it was, it's being aligned. It's being balanced. The universe is stepping in. I'm also going to say for some of you all, you de the justice card is like the justice of the peace. Contracts, marriage contracts, long-term commitments. For a lot of you all, this will be love and money. This could be a love-based situation. Some of you guys could be going in business with a partner. And even if you feel like as you're watching, like I don't, desires going to some type of business i feel like you may meet a person who will be your muse and they will inspire you to want to have some type of business together because i keep hearing that a lot of y'all are going to be dealing with people who are emperor based energy like this person is very established they're very business and goal oriented and i'm hearing a lot of things about generational wealth because this is giving me the vibe of generational wealth also something that could be passed down to many you know 
So let's get a clarifier for the Four of Pentacles for the Moon energy. Four of Pentacles for the Collective for the Moon energy. Look, I can't make this up. Look at that shit. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. And I'm getting two messages. Like I said, if you guys are dealing with a loan shark type person, this per it's going to be expensive. Because keyword fortune is going to be expensive. Look at that devil right there. Okay? Things may not go in the direction you want it to because this is like a compass based energy here. And you got a devil. And you got a snake. So some of you guys be careful about dealing with loan shark type shit. The other message that I'm getting is definitely and for sure, okay? Yeah, some of you guys definitely leave a Taurus alone, okay? And if you're a Taurus and somebody asks you to borrow money, just say no, okay? Because I'm, I'm telling you, I don't feel like it's going to go good for you guys, okay? Their backs are facing each other. The devil and his back, they're facing each other. Mm -mm. This could be a fucked up deal. I'm going to be real with you. Now, going back into what I was saying about somebody who you are destined and fated to connect with, Every single one of these characters have a book, which means it has been written in the stars as fated and destined for you and this person to have this connection. S somebody may be holding back a little bit emotionally, but I feel like that's until they get a clear, <coughs> excuse me, clear understanding. Something with four also. You could be a life path number four. They could be a life path number four. You guys could have had four lives together because there's books here. All these characters have books and you have one of every element, earth, air, fire, water, and then you have four pinnacles here. So... Okay, and then also with that four energy, four plus four is eight, eight sideways an affinity symbol. So you guys have had an infinite amount of lifetimes with each other. But again, you have major arcana that's definite. Yet yeah, something is coming towards you, something, someone, and it's going to be very prosperous. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the magician reverse. Oh, God. You got the magician reverse and then the seven of swords. Again, a swindler. Okay, that's what I'm telling you right now. That's a goddamn swindler. Don't trust this person. I, if it's a personal loan, I would not trust a personal loan. Because each of these energies, this is not giving me like company vibe. This is giving me like a person that you know that wants to borrow money or is buying money. Or, you know, wants to borrow money or may offer. But they may have some type of motive. Okay? Because the magician reverses someone who's not very trustworthy at all. Seven of swords not trustworthy. This is just confirmation about what I've been saying for the whole time. Okay? You got Virgo and again, Gemini energy. Gemini season. Ah. A trickster is being revealed, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. So let's get a clarify for the Seven of Swords. Clarify for the Seven of Swords. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I, yeah, I keep hearing swindler. And that's not even a word that I use. You know how bad you got to be to be a swindler? I mean, you a shady motherfucker. Okay, so now you have, I'm telling you, some of you guys, you, you need to shop around. Literally, because this person could be shady, but I do feel like there could be another person who may have your best interest at heart. Because some of you all could be a father figure or a grandfather. You may run some business ideas across this person. And you see how he's looking kind of sad, sideways like, mm, I don't know if I want to give you my money. But some of you all, you need to write up some type of blueprint, some type of business um, plan, proposition, so that you can explain your purpose. And I also want you guys to see both your clarifiers and major comments. So this is definite. This is, And this is going back to what I was saying. That's one version of it. But the second one, you have the Wheel of Fortune and something. Look at that. The devil also gives me an energy of karmic energy, karmic ties, karmic contracts. And he's going right towards, okay? This is how it is on the table. So I didn't move it. Mm -mm. This is going to be somebody that you are fated and destined to connect with, okay? Fated and destined. The universe is aligning you. There Again, that's that comp is moving you in that direction. Now, I always tell you guys, for every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex, however it applies. But this is a divine counterpart. This has been divinely orchestrated. I've been saying this. So for some of you all, when this does come in, it will be romantic and, and financial. And I feel like this person is going to be well off. And I always tell you all, you know, yeah, you got the seven of swords here. But here's the thing. Whatever card of major arcana comes with, it trumps it. So it's like this for me. It's past energy when it comes to love-based stuff. That's that's past energies. And then and when it comes to as far as loans and stuff like that, a personal loan, I wouldn't do it. I would go to a major establishment like a bank, a major bank. Because this is that's this big bank take little bank right here. Okay. This is somebody, this is like an actual facility, like a major establishment. And this is someone who's who, you know, I feel like they have ulterior motives when they offer you something or they suggest something. I'm even hearing that somebody may say, Oh, if you need me, just let me know. And then they fucking lying. Look at them tiptoeing like shit, I ain't giving you nothing. You know, it, it could be that also. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for the five of swords, bottom of the deck. Look at that. Five of swords, page of swords. I'm telling you right now, people talk with shit, and I feel like you're going to address it. 
Both of them got their swords up. Something is getting addressed. Page of swords, I spy, lurker, someone keeping tabs, somebody investigating. I feel like some of you all are investigating some stuff. You may be asking questions about, well, who told you that or who said that? And you're going to address it. You're going to address it. You got two people. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, lately I've been hearing this. And even though this is like a pit or, or a fire pit or something right here on the ground, if you look at it, it looks like it's coming out of the horse's mouth. And you know the saying, you may hear this situation straight out of the horse's mouth. And they could be a fire sign because even though it's a swords, it is fire coming towards that lion's, uh, and I'm saying lion, so again, something with Leo, coming out of that horse's mouth. Somebody also could have been born in the year of the horse. Huh, okay. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier for the five of swords. Seeing something hop up and it went back in. Five of swords for the sun. You guys know the sun is that new energy. What's getting ready to come towards you or what's getting ready to be illuminated. Okay. Wow. So it flipped in reverse, but when it landed on the table, it flipped upright. So if some of you are were suspicious about a specific person, your suspicions are correct. You already had the page of swords before this. When you were lurking, doing some investigating, your inclinations was correct, okay? This person's first and last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, M, W, or H. This could be a Piscean or a um, Gemini. And I know this is not a Gemini card per se, but you do have Roman numeral 2 right here. And it looks like Gemini, or this could have happened in Gemini season, specifically in May. Again, I'm going to say whatever comes with this, when this major arcana is definitely, you know, the major arcana trumps it. So your intuition was correct. You're finally getting a T. You're finally getting some information. She has a scroll here. That's information, some type of um, knowledge-based data. Huh. Okay. I just heard Brandon. Brandon J. James. Jason. Brandon J. James. Jason. Thomas. First, middle, last name could be Thomas, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Cups, bottom of the deck. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, Knowledge, and Wisdom. I told y'all, no matter what the fuck somebody do, you're going to be victorious. This is a card of victory. This is a card of victory. You see the crown here. Hello? You got quite a few crowns here. You, she's wearing a crown. He's wearing a crown. Again, this is giving me the vibe that you guys are going to be victorious. The universe is giving you a big tool, okay, to cut off all negativity, Anything that's in your way, you're cutting that shit out of your path, okay? If you look in the background, there's mountains here, but his hand is hovering over it, which means whatever mountains, because mountains is challenges, hurdles, whatever mountains you have been through, you're cutting the path. You're cutting through that shit, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for the Sun card. Okay. Nine of Cups for the Sun card. You got the food card in reverse. So the food card talks about taking a leap of faith into something new, starting over from scratch because you have zero. Um, this is Aries, also Aquarius energy. And I did mention Aquarius earlier. Aquarius season, you may have done something that was not in the best, in your best interest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you again, I always get rat bastard here. So this is giving me a vibe. What's interesting is as I'm holding it in reverse, he's looking towards... Mm, thank you. What you looking towards the nine of swords? So I'm, what, I, what I'm hearing is everything that glitters isn't gold. And if you look at it, the background behind him is golden. So some of y'all are like, I'm not, I'm not no fool. I'm no fool. I know what's up, and you cannot fool me because I'm hit to your game. Now, uh, right, even though that's positive, his back is facing this energy, so he wouldn't see what it is in reverse. He's seeing what it is. Also, this kind of in reverse giving me the energy of hangman. So for some of y'all, you may be stuck. In regards to whether or not you could trust someone, because you could kind of feel, okay, you could kind of feel and sense that this person is sneaky. They have some type of um, manipulative undertone, hell, overtone for some of you all. For some of you all, you could look at this person, they look sneaky to you. I bet y'all, y'all gonna tell me in the comments, like, y'all know who I'm talking about. I know y'all know, because she here. Y'all know who I'm talking about. It's somebody in your energy that's just sneaky and manipulative, but you are hip to the game with that. Now, also, as far as the new person coming in, I feel like some of you all may be fearful of having a new start because you've been through this type of energy, you know? If you've been through all this, would you want to trust people? You could be very guarded. He's on guard, you know? He doesn't look like he's on guard, but if you look at it, he has a staff right here. He's on guard. Some of you guys could feel very much on guard because, you know, past situations have led you to feel just that way. 
nonetheless, there's going to be victory. Now, even though this major arcana is in reverse, it doesn't mean that you can't have a brand new start. Just see, it, what I'm getting is that, like I said, everything that glitters isn't gold. Because even these chalices, they're gold if you look at them. So it's like somebody could be selling you a dream or trying to sell you a dream. Also, be cautious because her intuition is heightened. She, she listens to her gut feeling. You see how this dog is barking like, hey, hey, playboy, you about to roll off that cliff. Pay attention. It's in reverse, which means he's not listening to the guidance. And this also is giving me the energy of a familiar, you know. This is a dog, but it kind of has a wolf vibe too. So some of you guys, your spirit animal could be a wolf. Yeah, <laughs> some of you guys, your spirit animal could be a wolf. You got two wolves here. And you see how right by that throat, there's that red hot, sh you know, and he's howling. Some of you guys could be hearing like the call of your spirit animal. And then when I say that, for some people, they could be weirded out. Like, what do you mean? How am I going to hear a spirit animal talk to me? What I'm saying is like, say for instance, we've had three so far. You have a dog, you have a wolf. And then I initially picked up uh, like a gecko or a lizard. Google those spirit animals. Even if you feel like that doesn't resonate with you, Google it and see what the message is. It's always messages. So Google spirit animal, gecko, or lizard. Google spirit animal, um, wolf. Google spirit animal, dog. Oh, also rat. We had the rat also. Google those spirit animals because they all have messages that explain what that what it means when that energy comes into your realities. You need to look that stuff up. Also, for a lot of you all, they're telling you to start looking up spiritual things. This is very spiritual energy. And some of you all may have, you may be seeing signs and synchronicities and symbols all the time, but you're not paying attention to it. And that's stopping you from having a, a new start. Because again, food cards talks about a new start, a new beginning. You see how the sun is literally white? White is the energy of cleaning the slate com like completely. Completely. That's like bleaching all the bullshit, pouring bleach on the bullshit and, and, and watching it disintegrate. That's what I'm getting there, okay? So make sure you're starting. When you see things over and over again, when you see numbers over and over again, like even now I'm seeing 333. Some of you guys will be seeing 333 a lot. Um, 444 I'm getting also. A lot of fives. You got a lot of fives. 555, five, five. you guys know five in numerology is definitely talking about change. And it's typically changes that lead or come about because of challenges. You guys have had five of wands, five of swords. You also had the hair final pre-shuffle, and that's a five. So a lot of five energy, and especially something that went down in May as well, which was literally, you know, days ago, weeks ago. So, yeah, make sure you are looking that information up because there's messages in it for you guys. There's definitely messages, and you need to pay attention to it. Some of you guys are definitely going to be seeing fives a lot. Also, I'm hearing over the next five days, some some type of, yeah, you're going to find out some bullshit in the next five days. For a lot of you all. Again, he's holding five swords here. And there's seven swords in total, but he's holding five. You got two fives here of swords. Swords is communication mental, okay? The next five days, you're going to find out about some type of bullshit that somebody been saying behind your back. Because I want you to notice the fox, slick as a fox, sneaky as a fox behind his back. And these two people behind his back. You're going to find out about some shit that was going on behind your back. But going into the more positive energy, because that's why I want to leave off on, because that's the energy you need to really be soaking up, Okay? You guys are coming to alignment with people who can put you in positions of power or people who can align you with your destiny because people do come on our path to help us be great. And the emperor is someone who is revered and respected as a great or wise person or a powerful person, a well-off person. And that's what I'm getting for a lot of you all. And this definitely is going to involve love and money for quite a few of you all. Most, most definitely, especially if you're single. If you're single, I'm definitely getting that this is, this is a karmic... Um, divine uh, partnership here is what I'm getting. Okay? So thank you so much, Collective, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. Until next time, take care and be well. And I did just see 3838. 38. So some of you guys maybe start to see threes and eights also. Okay? Until next time, take care. Bye.